I'm Alan Jackson, BBC Radio Merseyside Sport, and it's my great pleasure to be associated with the tradition ICAP Liverpool International. And what a week we've had. Once again, glorious weather, great crowds, superb tennis, not only from the legends, including Martina Hingis and Jana Novotna, but some real superstars coming through. And look out, there's some real great action about. <laughs> I definitely heard a lot of great things about it, and, uh, and most of them were true. So. My mom, I was practicing one day, and she goes, Tammy, I'm going to explore about the Beatles, and I'm like, what? I remember when five years ago when it was only four players, and it's, it's grown, and hopefully it can keep growing. First time in Liverpool, people are great, very friendly, great exhibition, and I definitely hope they invite me back next year. As far as the women's tournament was concerned, it was won by Caroline Wojnacki, a great favourite here at the Liverpool International. She had to work hard, mind, against Ashley Harkle Road. Look out for Chloe Murphy. She's only 15, first major tournament, got some major points along the way, and of course it's great experience for the youngsters, as it is for those that know their way around the court. It was a great match. Every game was pretty close. and. Um... You know, just a break here in first set, break there in second set, and I mean, yeah, it's the difference. But uh, yeah, it was a great match. I thought I played well, and she played well as well. So um, yeah, I think the crowd had a nice time as well. Um, I really hope to come back next year. Um, but uh, yeah, I've really had a great time, and there was great competition, and so I hope to come back next year. I look up to so many players. I mean, Monica Seles is a good example. She was just such an amazing player, such a hard worker, and really it's just a proof of work hard and you'll get somewhere because she was really a worker. And I am lucky enough to know her, and she's a great girl. And um, yeah, Justine as well. She did so much for Belgium tennis, and Kim Kleisters, those two, I mean, I, growing up looking, I mean, being from Belgium, two number ones in the world and from such a small country for sure I look up to them they had great games and um, really nice girls as well and, and and it's really nice for me to see how they can just go on and have a family and do something else after tennis um, actually the first two matches it wasn't so good I, I didn't play so good but I started getting practice every day and you know getting matches you, you get a little better for it, of course, you always want to win, you know, even though this is just an exhibition, but it's also great practice for Wimbledon, and it's really great, you know, the grass courts and center court, you know, you get used to atmosphere, and it's really great practice for it. I don't know if I'll ever get there, it's exactly not easy, but uh, my dream is to be number one in the world one day. I definitely love Martina Hingis, and she was here. Uh, I actually know her, I, I just talked to her a couple times, and I've always looked up to Martina Hingis. You know, I feel good, you know, I feel like I was playing well, uh, especially in the uh, you know, in the end of the second set in the super tiebreaker, I was playing really well, you know. Um, I'm just happy that I pulled it through and that I won this tournament once again. Um, when you, I'm going on the court, I always want to win, you know, so uh, every match for me is important. But of course, if I would have lost, it wouldn't be a tragedy, but, you know, it's just great to get some confidence. You know, Ashley is a really great player, you know, she uh, has improved a lot, she has good volleys, you know, she's playing really well in grass as well. So it was a difficult match for me and, uh, you know, I'm happy that I won it. I think it's a great event, yeah, it's a really nice event, people are really nice, the crowd is good, I like the city, you know. So it's, I, I really uh, enjoy playing here. It's really nice, you know, we have a good atmosphere, we're going out for dinner every night, you know. So it's really different and I enjoy coming here every year. You know? Now, what about the men? Won by a big guy, Amir Delic, on his way to big things in this uh, game of tennis, believe you me. He had to work hard, mind. He wasn't sure of winning the final against Paul Capdeville of Chile, but the big American came good when it mattered. Along the way again, look out, Ken Skupski, much improved European, again from Liverpool, and Robert Kendrick, surprisingly out, although he was one of the favorites, and if I can leave you with a name to look out for, Bernard Tomic, 15-year-old, first time here at the Liverpool International. He's on his way back next year. And grateful thanks to Tradition, ICAP and all our major sponsors for making it such a marvellous tournament. And uh, hopefully can continue the success down at uh, in Wimbledon Village. Um, I uh, had some uh, nagging injuries but uh, and a minor surgery, but I'm all healthy now and uh, won a couple small challenger events. Uh, quarterfinals of a couple ATP events. The people here 
uh, they, they know their tennis and they, they enjoy their tennis, so it was fun to have them out here and watch. I definitely enjoyed uh, watching uh, Goran Ivanisic, who was, uh, you know, he was my idol growing up, and uh, and then, uh, you know, always wa fun to watch uh, Mr. Bahrami and Nastasi, and uh, and so it's, it's, it's always entertaining to watch them, because I never got to really uh, watch them play when they played uh, in, in their prime. So it's, it's, uh, this is a rare opportunity for me and most of these people to come here and watch, so it's, it's very enjoyable. It's, uh, you know, disappointed in a way, but in another way, you know, it's, it's good matches out here and, uh, you know, I had a good time and it's uh, be good to get down to London and get ready for the Wimbledon. I don't know, it was pretty gusty out there today, pretty windy, so I don't know, I didn't, I didn't think I played too well, served that well, but, uh, you know, didn't win the big points. It's a good crowd out there and a lot of kids out here every year, which is important to get them to, into the sport. So. I've been here maybe four or five times and, uh, you know, I enjoy my time here and I look forward to it each year. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be back next year, in the years to come. Andrew's done a great job with this event. I remember when five years ago when it was only four players, and it's, it's grown, and hopefully it can keep growing for the years to come. You know, it's always a delight and a real pleasure to the crowd when you bring out some superstars. This year, 2008, we had Martina Hingis and Jana Novotna. They last met in 1997 when Martina Hingis won Wimbledon at 15 beating Lottie Dodds' record by just three weeks. Lottie Dodds, by the way, from Liverpool. As far as their performance here at the Liverpool International, it was glorious, wonderful tennis. Have a look-see. Tradition ICAP Liverpool International always brings on board some glorious names, some household names. Try these. Ili Nastasi, Pat Cash, Mansour Barami, Peter McNamara, to name but a few. All of them part and parcel of the Legends Tour that's become so much part and parcel of this magnificent championship. So I think something like this here is fantastic. I think that is uh, it is great to see. Yeah, we had a lot of fun today. Yeah, it's, uh, I haven't played mixed doubles in a long time. I got, I got to say, and it's nice to play with two girls who are, you know, I mean, are legends of the game. Um, you know, it was fun playing against Martina. She hits the ball so cleanly, even though she, you know, she uh, hasn't played. Uh, well, neither of them have played. You know, obviously they're retired now. But uh, and Yana was, uh, as always, volley so beautifully. You know. We, once you retire, you, you become a little bit more inconsistent. But I think for a short period of, of time, maybe a set or something, yeah, you can give most of these guys a, a little bit of a run for their money. You know, but uh, they're usually fading towards the end of the match. <laughs> so uh, you know, I mean, we, we get it. We legends get a chance to mix in with the with the tour players. You know, every once in a while, playing some some form of event, and I think you find that they uh, they're pretty competitive. Well, that's it. For 2008, the tradition ICAP Liverpool International has had some wonderful moments. You've shared some of them. Join us again next year. The court may be quiet, but the memories live on.